From a very young age, have loved animals, all kinds of animals. And I grew up in a family that valued time with animals, took very good care of our pets, and we also spent a lot of time outside. I started working in veterinary clinics when I was in second grade, and in fact, worked at the Okemos Animal Hospital, because I lived right next door. And I loved small animal medicine. I found it really fun um, to work with people's dogs and cats and to help them when their animals were in need. But I also felt like there was more that I could do. And once I learned that I could combine my love of wildlife with my love for animals and for caring for them in a hands-on way, I knew that zoo medicine would be the exact right career for me. My favorite mentor from Michigan State University is Dr. Jim Sikarski. He, at the time, was the leader of the zoo medicine program. He had lots and lots of good stories and connections with other people in the field. And he introduced me to a lot of experiences that I couldn't have gotten without his help. One of the experiences when I was a student at Michigan State that you could have was the Wildlife Rehabilitation Lab. It gave us an opportunity to help raptors that had been injured. They allowed students in their earlier years of vet school to care for them, to provide the daily care that they needed, and also to even help with the surgical repairs that they needed. And that was a special experience. I mean, you usually, as a vet student, don't get those hands-on experiences until the later years of your vet school training. And I found it incredibly interesting to work with these animals. And so I think that really solidified my love for wildlife medicine and then zoo medicine. I can remember Dr. Sikarski saying that there were very few jobs available in zoo medicine. And at the time, I developed my own internal mantra, and that was, that if it had to be somebody, it might as well be me. And so I set out to find the experiences, any experiences that I could, that would position me so that I would succeed. I always took the biggest, broadest option. With zoo medicine in my sights and as my, as my hopeful endpoint. So I would say, okay, if I could take, you know, small animal anesthesia, then I also want to take large animal, and I also want to take special problems in anesthesia. And I also, you know, I want to take equine medicine because I'm going to be taking care of zebras and I know hoof care is an important thing. So I definitely got a very broad experience. And Michigan State is such a leader in all of those areas um, that it was a perfect place for me to build a foundation. I think that the foundation that I got in vet school, it's still part of my day-to-day -day work. And I, I remember a lot of the lessons that were taught me by my professors. Um, I remember Dr. Kent Ames saying, one of the things that's really valuable is if you can predict when an animal is no longer going to be able to survive from its, its condition. And that's something I think about, is sometimes people just need to know more about what's impacting the animals that, that they love. And so that was really the beginning of really understanding the compassion and the empathy part of things and how important that is to veterinary care. Um, so I love the challenges, the ethical challenges, the conversations, the debates, all of that factors into my role here at the zoo and really all of that started at Michigan State. I've been at the zoo for 30 years. I don't think when I started in 1995 that I thought I would still be here, um, but I do tend to be a person who sticks with something. I've watched so many good changes happen here at the Detroit Zoo. A perfect example is grade ape exams. I mean. We bring in a human ultrasound technician. Often we bring in one or two human cardiologists. Sometimes we bring in a human anesthesia person. And we sometimes bring in other researchers and collaborators as well. And, and we can really only do three of those in a day. And we have a great big long list of all of the information that we want to gather and all the observations that we want to make and all the samples we want to collect so that we can advance um, grade eight medicine. I'm very passionate about the kids who come here. I want them to feel that same spark that I did as a third grader, you know, taking care of a sparrow or as an undergraduate student, you know, grinding up zoo nutrition samples so that we could do uh, the analysis that we needed to understand nutrition. I love science and I love um, that there are still so many questions that need to be answered and I get geeked out about all kinds of things all day long and I really want people to, to feel that, to share that passion with me and then to just go and do something amazing with it.